Welcome back, Tubers. If you like this type of content, please consider a like, a subscribe, and also leave a comment. Thank you. All right, welcome back, Tubers. Um, it's kind of overcast today, so I'm uh, not good. I don't have very much light today, so I got my flashlight out. I got the light on the camera, so hopefully that'll be enough light. It picks up pretty well in the dark. Anyway, uh, what we've been doing lately, uh, I wanted to start finishing up more of this rim joist and sill plate over here. Today, I just wanted to kind of, well, right now I got the sill plate down. Let's see if you guys can see some of that. Um, but I don't have it screwed down yet. Now, for an eight foot length, I usually use three of them. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna pre-drill first and then I've got my uh, concrete bit and I'm gonna put for the sinkers and uh, we'll get you there. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do today. I got started here a little bit. And then I'll finish up that last one. Um, here's an interesting fact that I noticed about this house. They all used 4x6s instead of 2x6s for the rim joist. And I have never found any anchor bolts on the whole thing. None. So all they did was screw it to the sill plate. And, I mean, nail it to the sill plate and nail it to the to the um, the lower sill of the wall. And uh, there was nothing holding this house down to the foundation. As I pulled out the old sill, there was never any place where there was a bolt or nail or any metal coming up or nothing. So I don't know how they held this thing together. Anyway, um, the... I, I wanted to tell you the other day, I put this sill plate, I mean this rim joist in over here. Um, let me give you a closer look here at what we're doing. I had a wedge stuck in here to hold the hold that bottom plate up from the wall so that it's like six inches wide. And of course, two by six is only five and a half, right? So, and this was still almost six inches down here. Oh, you almost can't see that. All right, so all I had to do is clear this two by four right here. And I stuck it in there. Of course, now on the outside lip, because you can't see it too well, but on the outside lip, there's still some siding hanging down. So it created, it created a channel for my rim joist. And all I did was whack on it a bunch of times and get it all tucked into here, and it fit right up to the next, the, uh, the other one on the other side there over in the bathroom. And then I got it all placed in here and everything, and, and then where the subflooring is, I screwed down th through down to the two by six, the rim joist, and then all along the rim joist here, I, I used um, screws into holding it down to the, to the sill plate on the foundation. So, all I gotta do now is pick this up a bunch with my toe jack and put another put another wedgie in here like this. I'll hold it up about six inches. So I'm gonna be working on that. 
I don't need you guys to watch me do any of that stuff, but <coughs> I'll, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come back to you after I get some of that done. And then I might, I might just uh, clean out some more of this over here. I've got to move my plywood and stuff like that. But I'm getting ready to put down my another 8-foot length of sill plate right there. So we're going to do that. All right, you guys just hang right on, and uh, I'll get back to you in a second here. All right, tubers, I'm back. Man, I was trying to jack up that corner of that building. I needed to get my sill plate tucked up underneath that rim joist on the other side there because it overhangs by uh, about five inches. So I tried I working for like a couple of hours, you know, and I gave up on it. Every time I'd get close, something would snap or break or whatever. I don't know, I'd come loose. So, I gave up for now. But, um, you know, I'm done doing that. I'm just working my way around the corner there, uh, trying to get the rim joists and the sill plate in. It takes a lot of work. A lot of times something is not as straightforward as you would think it is. And I tried jacking it seven different ways from Sunday, and I couldn't seem to get it. So, anyway, I'm giving up for today. I'm losing my light. So, we'll get this video up for you today, and uh, we're, I'm just going to piddle on it for the next couple of days. Doesn't look like we're going to have a whole lot of sunshine here either, so that takes away from my video hours as well, too. So, But I'll come back with you when I get some more um, items that I've worked on. I'll give you an update as to uh, how it's going and stuff like that, so... Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, please give me a like and a subscribe and uh, also a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. And uh, again, throw me a like. It helps with the YouTube and, um, you know, with the metrics and stuff. So anyway, I love to see you guys. Uh, we'll come back and catch up to you in the next time. All right.